Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Box with the Technical Trader. It's uh, Monday night, the 29th of November. And um, these are the charts of the day. There's um, a lot on the long side that still looks pretty good. So, And although I promised you a review of the box of shorts, we're going to postpone that till tomorrow and go over some more of the longs here as there are still um, some stocks emerging and some stocks thrusting here. Uh, Emerin had a significant price volume surge on news today. Breaking out on 43.8 million shares, the biggest volume in its history, up 230 or 65%, a monster day. And if you look back on the weekly chart, you'll see that the stock broke out of a long-term lateral price resistance level going back about six, year, six years in here. So uh, maybe we're going to see this stock make a significant move here, and this could be the beginning of it, but we'll keep close tabs on it. Right now, anyway, stock had a significant price breakaway gap and strong volume thrust and close near the upper end of the range, another significant factor. We're going to show, show you a, a target. We're going to have a set a target around the seven and a half, eight zone um, on a short term basis. Uh, APRI, um, which just changed your name from uh, NextMed to Apricus Biosciences. Um, as you can see, uh, as thrusted recently on heavy volume, Backed off a couple of days and then came on again today, up another 12 cents. But more importantly, it looks like the stock has momentum now. The major declining top line around four and a half is our short term target. We get through that, look for something up around six. Amtech, ASYS, looking real good. Um, although it did have a quick dip a couple of weeks ago, it then snapped right back and has set new highs here, new multi year highs. Going back, uh, let's see how far, um, to 2000, so a 10 year high on ASYS and a more upside looks doable target around 25 B square continues to thrust with big momentum and up nearly every day except for a couple uh, flat sessions in the last two and a half weeks having moved from about four to six and a quarter stock looks like it could get up towards the seven and a quarter range pretty short term and that's what that's what our target is Camelot information CIS after a two month Nice base. Pop 237 or 12.6% on more than a million shares. That's the heaviest volume since uh, the IPO in um, July. So perhaps a new price volume surge thrust here to, to set off a new up, up, up channel, up uh, leg, I should say. And a target now about 24.5 zone. Denison Mines, part of the strong uranium group, uh, thrusting for the last three days. Now today, they kind of had a flat sideways session up a penny, but with the technicals continuing to surge, I believe it takes out the 330 area and moves up towards the $4 trading target. Easy Link Services, ESIC, had a significant move the last couple, three sessions where it popped out above this flag and now is headed for apparently the four and three quarter range, four, uh, which is just above here. Uh, but beyond that, looking for about five and a half to three quarters, maybe six. I go I G O I broke out of a significant, beautifully shaped coil here after the big pop on price volume surge in November. Broke it out of its base. A breakout uh, on um, Friday and then a follow through today ensued. Stock looks high, headed higher. We got a short term target around four, secondary target five and a half. Ion Geophysical I O also had a significant price volume surge, trading 4.7 million shares. New high for the year on the unbalanced volume line. You can see the stock surging across key lateral resistance here. Uh, right now, the long-term chart is calling for much higher levels in the mid to high teens, but we'll set a short-term trading target around 10 for uh, ION. Excuse me, for ION. IO, simple. MGIC, Magic Software. Strong surge is taking place here over the last two or three weeks, and today was no difference. The stock was up by one point up to 728, a nominal new high. It did back off, but strong volume and technical surge indicate perhaps higher levels are due. Looking for a short-term trade up towards the $8 level for some profit taking could set in. Magnum Hunter MHR continues to consolidate after a price breakaway surge about a week ago, but this is a health, healthy bullish setup for higher levels. The long-term channel calls for something more than double from where we are now, but let's set an $8 short-term target and a $10 intermediate target. Motricity, very, very strong um, pattern since the September lows when the stock was trading under eight. 
Here it is over 30. The stock just coming out of a uh, coil here that could indicate higher levels, perhaps in the high 30s to low 40s. Um, we'll, we'll set that as our trading target. Rubicon RBY, exceptional price volume surge today. 11.5 million shares, by far the heaviest volume we've ever seen in a stock. And um, took it out of a significant one year base, declining tops line, and closed near the upper end of the range within a penny of it. Uh, significant in, in that it may have set off a new intermediate to longer term uptrend. Um, and we're looking for a price target around seven short term, nine intermediate term. RITT had a significant move as well today, up $1.95. Uh, 230,000 shares, that's a thinly traded stock to begin with, but it closed near the upper end of the range. It broke out of a four-week um, bull consolidation after this big thrust in October. Looking for higher levels, let's call it um, 11 and 14 short intermediate term. That could come a lot quicker than, than you think. Soda, S-O-D-A, exploded last week, pulled back the last day or two, but with earnings coming out tonight, we expect the stock to gap tomorrow and run. Target at 48.50 zone, maybe as high as 53. Um, we'll see what uh, kind of follow through we get tomorrow. Theravance, THRX also, a significant price volume surge today, the heaviest volume in a couple months and a breakout across key lateral resistance. This consolidation zone in the last couple months uh, could be setting off a new uptrend. Let's look for a, a target around 28.8.5, secondary target in the low 30s. Another uranium stock that's acting great. 11.4 million shares up another almost 10% today. Uranium Resources, URRE, continues to surge higher. Short term target at four and a half and then six. And lastly, today is Warren Resources, recent swing trade pick, which followed through today up about nine cents. Not a big deal, but certainly closed near the upper end of the range with strong technicals. I'm looking for the stock to reach the five, five and a half range short term. And that's it for tonight. Again, tomorrow I'll be highlighting some of the boxer shorts to uh, check in with those and also some of the ultra short ETFs. Take it easy. Have a good evening.